This is Kim. I've had several people ask me how I do the vine or the spine for my uh, curling feather vine. So I thought I'd do a little video, be easier than trying to show you in pictures. First, I want to point out um, what I have marked on my border. I have a diagonal line going from corner to corner. Then I've divided my border in half and have a line registration mark going up my side border and across my um, bottom border. I've also have marked, it's really faint, a half inch registration line from the edge of my quilt. I do that so when I'm quilting my feathers, I don't go past that. If I don't have that line, I will do my feathers all the way up to my basting line. Then when I put my binding on, I cut the uh, tops of my feathers off and that's not very attractive. So to avoid that, I put this half inch line, registration line in to keep me from going past there. So I, um, First need to decide what size circle I'm going to use. My border is six inches cut. So when I measure from this point to my registration line, it is five and a quarter. So half of five, my rule of thumb is to take that measurement and divide it by half and then round it to the closest size circle that will fit. So five divided in half is two and a half. So I'm using my two and a half inch circle. So I also went, before I start stitching, I want to see how much room that's gonna leave me here for my feathers. Um, for what I'm doing, that is um, plenty large enough of a space for a feather. So I place my circle on these registration lines. I'm lining up the pie markings on my circle to the registration lines on my quilt. So this one's lined up diagonally and then this one going up and down and this one from side to side. I'm going to stitch my bottom border spine first. So I'm starting at the top of my circle at the halfway mark of my side border. I'm going to take a little locking stitch. I like to tuck my threads underneath my ruler that way I don't have to worry about holding them when I start. And I know my machine's not gonna suck them up and make a big nest on the bottom of my quilt. So I'm going to stitch around my circle slowly until I have to move my hand then I'll go ahead and move those threads out of the way and I'm going to stitch to this mark. Then I just move my circle over, lining up the horizontal registration line with the horizontal line on my circle. So to do the curl, I'm going to do a three-quarter um, circle. So I'm just going to follow my circle ruler around until I reach my vertical um, registration line on my circle. So once I get to there, I'm just going to backtrack really slowly back to the registration line on my quilt. Move my circle. Now this is the tricky part. Since I've come back this way, the natural feeling um, that I have, and I find a lot of people have, is they want to keep going around the circle this direction. 
Well, if you do that, your curls will be facing the same direction. So I need to come down, place my fingers where they're comfortable, and I have a good hold on my circle. So one of the easy ways um, to remember which way to go is I went up and down. So now I need to go up. So if you remember up, down, up, and then down, up, down, um, you'll be going in the correct um, way. And my bobbin thread broke. 